Before this video begins, I would like to clarify that what I'm about to do falls completely and utterly under the Copyright Law Fair Use Act. I am showing you a copy of the UK law, which this will be judged under. Everything I'm about to do classifies as criticism. I will be citing all my sources stating fact where fact is needed and opinion where it is therefore appropriate. Thank you. Hi there, Richard D. Coughlin 66, how are you? And I found this video on YouTube, a video that is immensely popular. It's called Bob Proctor on the Secret. What is the secret? We'll have to check. Let me just clarify this. What you're about to see comes from the 2006 self-help film based on what is known as the Laws of Attraction. It was produced by a company called Prime Time Productions who are responsible for... And of course... Well, I'm sure they're responsible for lots of things that I can't think of or find within 10 minutes of looking on the internet. The Secret is a self-help film designed to help you discover your dreams and live the life you've always wanted. Let me assure you that The Secret, the motivational skills that it will give you and the effectiveness comes endorsed from such highly credible and intellectual giants of the world such as Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres, and Montel Williams. But hey, don't let me tell you about it. Let's listen to Bob Proctor, because he's going to tell us what he can about the secret. Take it away, Bobby. Hello and welcome. I'm Bob Proctor. And I am really proud and very pleased to be part of the secret. I'm not surprised by that, Bob. I found it so difficult to find anything about you on the internet. This is your Wikipedia. This is what Wikipedia had. All of the pages from every section of Wikipedia, every subsection, all of the pages were deleted. All of them. I went on your website. There was virtually nothing there about you. I went on various other spin-off websites. There was nothing, no information, no biography of Bob Proctor. The closest I could find was on this page here on your website, which basically says nothing more than the fact that you were a dropout of high school, you worked dead in jobs, until you one day read a book by a guy called Napoleon Hills called Think and Grow Rich. You wanted to grow up one day and believe that you could one day have the life of your dreams by doing exactly the same thing that he did. And I found it very worrying when I simply then went to Google your name, I found that having typed in Bob Proctor, only six places down on the prediction was the word SCAM. Behind coaching, the secret, torrent, wiki and Wikipedia, you are one secretive bloody fellow. The law of attraction is always working. You can never escape it. Everything that comes into your life. You're attracting him. Everything that comes into your life, according to Bobby Proctor, is what you are attracting to your life. You might have had a car crash, an ectopic pregnancy. You might have to have your testicles removed. Bob here has just told you that it is all your fault. And with absolute certainty, it will arrive. He said absolute certainty. He didn't say maybe. No, he said, without question, absolute certainty. Hi, this is Mark Ewing from Colorado. I have nothing against, I think the movie The Secret was great. I think that they did a great job producing it. I think that the uh, law of attraction is a very, very powerful law and very good techniques that you can use. In fact, I was featured as a success story um, in a, a, a write-up on the Secret blog. The reason why I'm doing this video as a caution is some of these uh, uh, emails that I get are very, very disturbing. When you're using the law of attraction and the, you know, trying to exercise the principles that were taught in the movie The Secret, don't lose your common sense. Don't, don't lose, um, don't get so far trying to focus on everything positive that you forget the world in which you live in or the, uh, the things that are out there that are also available to help. Um, for example, you know, I, this lady said that she was going to use The Secret to, to cure herself of cancer and that she was no longer seeking the advices of her doctors and all the negative people in her life. Let's stop and think of who we are, what we are. I've got a few ideas of what I think you are at the moment, mate. Bob and Proctor are two words. That's my name. But it's not me. 
I might look at myself and say, this is me. But this isn't Bob Proctor, this isn't me either. Oh, I'm having a fucking acid flashback there, or what? You've never heard anybody phone in to work and say, body's not coming in today, it's sick. That's why we give each other names, you daft old fuck. You've never heard anyone say, am hand. We say, my hand. My name. My job. These are things we have. Jesus Christ, you're breaking the boundaries of fucking taboo controversies here, aren't you? But it's not me. Well, it must be someone's, mate. No one's going to run and claim your bloody body, but please figure out which one it is first. See, I am a soul, a spirit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's, that, that's D, you heard it. You heard it right. Yeah, he's not joking. He's not joking. He said that. He meant it. Yeah, he's a soul. He's a spirit. Oh, Jesus effing Christ. Non-physical. And I live in this physical body. But you're not non-physical, are you, Bob? Because you live in that physical body. Without that physical body, what good is your soul and spirit? I think the word is, uh, nut. You see, vibration is the law of the universe. This entire universe operates by law. There are no accidents. There are no accidents. No accidents. Did you hear that? No accidents at all. None. Car crashes, they're not accidents. Plane crashes, when you walk into a lamppost, if a bird shits on you, if you trip over, if someone drops a baby, that's not an accident. If it's not an accident, Bob, it must be deliberate. And vibration decrees, the law of vibration, that we literally live in an ocean of motion. Did you just say ocean of motion? Ocean of motion. Did you get the notion that the ocean of the motion? Can you please explain this law of vibration? Because I am not a scientific man, as you may well know. Could you please elaborate on the complexities of the law of vibration? Everything's vibrating at one speed or another. Yeah, that's why my mum sits on the fucking tumble dryer when it's on its last cycle. This doesn't help me fucking figure out the secret of life, Bob. I not only affect my body, but I affect this entire universe. Now I know that most of us have such a small picture, a small image of ourselves, that we have a difficult time believing that we would actually affect the entire universe. But we do. Do you know that thought waves are cosmic waves that penetrate all time and space? And when I think something, I control the vibration I'm in. And when I control the vibration I'm in, I control what I attract into my life. Oh, can it, you old git. Right, let's go through this. So, the laws of attraction are as follows. One, know exactly what you want. Two, ask the universe for it. Three, feel, behave, and know as if the object you desire is already yours. Visualize. Four, be open to receive it and let go of the outcome. Doesn't that sound familiar? That sounds like, oh, yeah, praying, doesn't it? Also, can you explain some things to me, Bob? Because I'm a little bit confused here, mate. If you're so sure about this idea of positive vibrations and all this other guff, I tried looking for some reviews, some quotes. This is what was listed as favourable quotes. Here's a quote from the New York Times. Some say they watch the DVD repeatedly and have uncovered the secrets within the secret with every viewing. That's a, not really a favourable quote. That's just not a negative one. That just says that some people claim that they have seen this film and something good has happened. That they, they claim that. Then the other one here from the Calgary Herald Journalistic Empire. Right? Kathy Jacobs, owner of Angel's Cappuccino in Ice Cream Cafe, a small operation, sold nearly 1,000 400 copies of the DVD. Jacob says customers buy several copies at a time to give, to, to give us gifts. Again, that's not saying anything good about the bloody film itself or the effects it has. Right, now, these are the negative ones I found. Even some fans are bothered by its obsession with using ancient wisdom and acquire material... Right, you see what I'm getting at here? Right, now, that's a negative quote. The, the whole idea that any of this is a secret is widely considered a joke. New York Post, again, the same one that wrote the favourable one, you might know. To Sane people, this is laughable, like the Tooth Fairy or Ouija boards. To others, it's downright offensive. That's belief.net. That's a fucking theist website. Here's a review from webblogpublishing.com website. Let's go through to the bottom bit. This is the best bit. What a load of garbage. They keep flashing back and forth between experts. Hmm, who is this guy? Dr. Joe Vitale, MCS.D. Metaphysician? I know I've been out of college only for, a year, for only a year, but what the heck is a metaphysician or an MCS.D? for that matter. The guy has a doctorate in metaphysical studies. Now, if your crackpot alarm hasn't gone off, I have a tinfoil hat for you to wear. Were these good vibrations you were sending out all the time for this, Bob, were they? And could you also explain this? Oprah Winfrey, 
Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey, as I mentioned earlier, she put her name on this, and that was one of the reasons why Salon.com had to write this article called Oprah's Ugly Secret. But it's basically about how there was a lot of scandal with her being connected to this. Also, explain to me this. The woman on the left there is Rhonda Byrne. She's the woman who's in charge of this film. And the bloke on the right there is the guy who's suing her for plagiarism. Incidentally, this is the second time this woman's been sued for plagiarism. The first time she settled out of court. Was that good vibrations, was it, mate? Let's leave you with this one here. The other secret. I won't read you all of this, because I'll leave you a link to the side. But this is all from the scientificamerican.com. This is written by Michael Shermer in the June 2007 edition of the Scientific American. I'll let you go read that in the side. Basically, Bob, I have one question for you. What kind of fucking morons do you take us for? Take your secret and stick it up your ass. And if you want to get anywhere in life, you want to get success, you want to live the life of your dreams, get off your fat, lazy ass and do some bloody work, you... Richard Dick Coffin, 666. Good night, mate, copulous.